Hey guys, and welcome to something a little bit different. I think I've finally reached the stage where I'm close to giving up on real hardware. So, my story with emulation is pretty basic. I mean, I don't have anything against emulation. I think it is really, really important. But I've always enjoyed uh, using the actual games on the actual hardware. However, with older systems, that's just becoming more and more of a barrier. And with the way uh, retro game prices are just spiraling out of control to the point where it's absolutely ridiculous what some of these games are going for. Take, for instance, the game that I'm playing at the moment. Uh, it's Countdown Vampires on the PlayStation 1. Right, If I wanted to actually go and buy that, that would cost me about £120. Is that game worth £120? Uh, I'll answer that for you. No, it's not. No, it is not. Also, the fact that my PlayStation 1, uh, well, yeah, my PlayStation 1 needs a new laser, which uh, I did try to order a while ago, but there's quite a lot of different lasers on eBay. And uh, a lot of the comments are saying that they're, they've ordered a certain laser and it hasn't worked with their model and blah 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 and they've ordered one model of laser but they received received another it's just oh god it, you know keeping these old systems is a bit of a nightmare so one of my friends actually told me about a new dreamcast emulator called duck station and i thought i'd give it a go and it's incredible uh i've really enjoyed it uh i've i've done all of countdown uh vampire with it now i was using an older emulator called epsxe which is fantastic but it's no longer in active development and it's it's kind of archaic in places it doesn't have the nicest ui or <laughs> any ui really um but it hasn't been updated for like five years it's, it's essentially dead software but it works and it's fantastic but this new duck station that's come out is in active development now and f in my opinion it's already better than the previous emulator i used to have and it's got a really nice front end and oh, I'm, I'm really happy with it so i was thinking hmm you know what i haven't looked for in about five years because i gave up with it Dreamcast emulator. Now, last time I tried Dreamcast emulation, it was terrible. It was complicated to set up. The files were a nightmare. The emulation when you did get it running was just utter dog shit. And I tried loads of emulators back in the day. I tried loads of different ROM files and all that kind of stuff. Now, unlike the PlayStation, which uses CDs, or the PS2, which uses DVDs, with the Dreamcast, you can't just use your game discs because they are GD-ROMs and they cannot be read in a CD or a DVD drive. I think there are certain models that can, um, but they're not in production anymore and very hard to get hold of. So you, you, you're shit out of luck, really. So you have to download ROMs. And a lot of the time, the ROMs that were available for the Dreamcast back then were highly compressed and had a lot of stuff missing. So you could fit them onto a CDR. So emulating these games wasn't the best way to play them. But the Dreamcast itself is a nightmare to set up and record. You've got to set the system up. You've got to Google the game that you're about to play to see if it works with RGB, SCART or VGA. You then have to plug in a converter box either way because the HD60 capture card does not accept the Dreamcast's native uh, VGA signal either. And then depending on whether you're playing a 50 hertz game or a 60 hertz game, that knocks the sync out. Anyway, the Dreamcast has always been a bit of a nightmare uh, and I thought emulation for it was just bogus. But I searched for a Dreamcast. I searched for a modern new Dreamcast emulator, not expecting to find much, probably the same old emulators from yesteryear that I tried. And I found an article about a new one called Redream, 
which is this one. You know what I did? I downloaded it. I installed it. Uh, I have a spare SSD in my computer, which used to be my old boot drive. I've now got a new M.2 um, boot drive. So I had a spare. So I now use that drive for my PlayStation 1, my Mega Drive games, and now my Dreamcast games. So basically I installed it. I selected the directory. And do you know what it did? Do you know what it did that blew my mind? It just worked. Yes, yeah, right. It worked. No setup, no bullshit, nothing. See all these nice looking thumbnails and everything on here? All of my, well, this isn't all of my games. Most of my Dreamcast libraries compressed, which is why most of it isn't here. But I didn't do this. The emulator did this. And it's run every game flawlessly that I've thrown at it so far, which is probably five or six games, admittedly. Um, officially, this emulator supports, I think, 88% of the library, which out of 650 odd games is still, you know, 500 and something, uh, which is pretty damn good. The only game that is frustrating that I can't get it to work on so far is Fur Fighters. But who knows, this game is still in, uh, this emulator is still in active development. Hopefully it will either work or I can actually do some research because admittedly I haven't done any research on it yet. One second. Leave it. And I, I actually sat here thinking, is it time? Is it time to pass the torch from these old machines onto emulation? Um, I, I mean, if, if, if we're not there yet, we're pretty bloody close. Let's be honest. But now this is the free version of this Redream uh, that I'm using now. There is a premium version, which I am going to buy because it does unlock a few extra bits. How much do you think this software cost? £20? £30? No, it's a one-time payment of $5. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, so I'm going to get a subscription to this, lifetime subscription to this. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just do a quick sizzle reel of all the games that I've so far played. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I am so excited. Oh, Kiss is not currently supported. Ah, oh, man. Well, that doesn't matter too much because, you know, um, we do still have the original... <laughs>
Name. I'm not sure. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I can't believe it. Shooting from that fog? No shit. Janine? A woman? This is Janine, over. Rajier, you are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the Abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to weave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul weaver. My angel of death. <laughs> 